How's it going guys? I'm over here at the uh, condo project I'm trying to wrap up this first unit but I just wanted to make a video show you how I do the stairwells I got one of these gorilla it's uh, a multi-position ladder so the, the legs are adjustable one has got to make some uh, little giant it's a similar ladder but I got the gorilla ladder but you see how you can stagger the feet and then It'll make it a lot easier to get into this stairwell. And I'll probably just set it up like a regular, regular like 20 foot ladder. Go from the stair to the, the corner up here. Yeah, so these ladders are perfect to get you right up. So you can cut these uh, walls into the ceiling. I didn't have the ladder, I left it at another job when I did the first coat. So I used a, a 20 foot ladder and a plank. I don't like that. You gotta really be careful. Last thing you wanna do is fall on one of these stairwells. That's it. I'm gonna cut it and then I'm gonna come back and roll these walls. And I'll be ready to start on the uh, staircase. I'm gonna do the trim and then I'm gonna actually do the stairs first with uh, stain and poly. And then I'll come back and do the white. So. stairwell and then I'm gonna roll it out now what I'll do I'll just I'll leave the pan up here like right at the top of the stairs and then just keep working off the stairwell and I got a uh, I, don't know, I think it's a four to eight foot pole so be able to get in there good it's kind of a pain so you gotta keep going up and down the stairs to get paint but that's how I do a stairwell it seems to work out good if you don't have a multi-position ladder you could always use a 20 foot ladder and then put a plank, run a plank from the uh, top step and then run it out. And uh, you probably actually probably need something to raise it up. Milk crates work. But whatever, however you do it, that's kind of dangerous. So I'd rather do it this way. That's it, nice clean lines. I got one little thing over here because I was doing it off the plank and I had to really reach out. So. I'll touch that up with the white and the uh, stairwell be done and I'm going to be ripping this uh, covering off the cardboard and the plastic and then I'm going to stain them and then put two coats of poly and uh, then I'll hit all the white, I'll hit the risers and then the uh, trim on the side, uh, I'll do that last. That way if you get a drip on the stairs, it's got poly on it, you can just wipe it off. Otherwise, it's bare wood like this. It seeps into the wood and leaves a stain. It's a pain in the neck. You have to sand it out. So, anyway, I really just wanted to focus on how I do this stairwell. Alright, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.